before I get started, I'm getting all the information from its wiki on fandom and Reddit. The links will be in the description. Arsenal is an FPS action game created on August 18th, 2015 by a group called Rolf Community, headed by Dev Rolf. It currently has over 4 billion visits and over 4 million upvotes. It allows only 16 players per server, and it includes more than 20 maps around 170 weapons, 36 game modes with only 20 available on private servers, around 260 skins, 20 kill effects, and 8 tons and emotes. This is one of my most favorite games that I play quite frequently and I'm quite good at it. You win this with a You did it! Nice. As I mentioned, Arsenal has 36 game modes with 16 playable on public servers and all 36 on private servers. The standard game mode is the main game mode of Arsenal. It contains almost every single weapon in the game, and the weapon switches out every kill you get. When a player gets 31 kills, they've achieved the golden gun, and then once they kill someone with a golden gun, they then get the golden knife, in which when they kill someone with a golden knife, the game ends and they win. Other game modes include randomizer, gun rotation, concussion mania, railgun royale, automatics, pistol, shotguns only, legacy, competitive, hard mode, insane mode, competitive, monkey business, and oddball. Standard, Legacy, Competitive, and Competitive are essentially the same with minor differences. Gun Rotation gives everyone the same weapon every 20 seconds. Hard Mode makes you kill 16 players with the most disliked weapons in Arsenal. Insane Mode is the same, only you have to get 32 kills. Shotguns only, automatics, and pistols don't need to be explained. It, it's obvious. Oddball is a game mode where a ball is located at the center of the map and you have to pick it up and hold it for the longest for your team. In exchange, it drains your health. If someone has it, a marker will pop up on whoever has it until the player dies and drops it. If the ball is not picked up in 20 seconds, it will go back to the center. Other game modes only available in private modes include Hakula, which is also a Halloween event, Hakula DX, a harder version of Hakula, Juggernaut, Headshots Only, and more. Arsenal has plenty of maps that are unique. Some maps are either from Counter-Strike, like Dust2 and Office, or Original. Some apps are retextured for events like Christmas and Halloween, but it's usually just changes to grass to look like snow or dying leaves on the ground. Players can buy skins, emotes, and kill effects by using battle bucks, which can be earned by participating and winning matches, and using battle bucks to buy flare cases and or in using the battle bucks to buy flare cases or buy them in the shop. Cosmetics can also be redeemed by using codes. Announcers can also be bought in the shop or via flare cases. Now if you've played Arsenal for a long time, you may see hackers that appear and are ruining your experience. Apparently it's due to Arsenal's weak anti-cheat system and limited ways to stop hackers is what makes them very present nowadays. Ironically, an inspiration for Arsenal is also Team Fortress 2, and they also have a problem with bots and hackers and aimbots, making them more alike than they already are. Anyway, uh, here, here is footage of me encountering one. They are stupid to think they will win. As you see here, how is he teleporting? You may ask. Uh, ex exploits. He he he's hacking. That that's a problem with Arsenal. It's it's it the, the anti cheat shit. Before I go, I need to say something. Uh, please subscribe and like, please. I I'm 14. I need a source of income, and I've got like no subscribers. Please, please. I I will buy you a cookie. It's 12 a.m. I'm a fucking tired. Please help me. Explain that.